so in today's video we will learn about the abdominal planes okay they are the very important landmarks in the abdomen so first plane we are going to learn that is the transpyloric plane or it is also known as the addison's plane so this is the line of the plane it is a imaginary horizontal line and this line is taken the midline from the supra sternal notch till the pubic symphysis this is the pubic symphysis so this is about the uh, mid point of these two lines this is the supra sternal notch and this is the pubic symphysis so we have to take a middle point so this plane will pass through this line so anteriorly if you will see it is passing through the ninth costal cartilage this is the point of the ninth costal cartilage and posteriorly if you will see you have seen this l1 vertebra so this is the lower border of the l1 vertebra so anteriorly passing through the ninth costal cartilage posteriorly lower border of the l1 vertebra and this plane is also known as the key plane of the abdomen this is the key plane of the abdomen because it corresponds to the number of abdominal viscera for example pylorus of the stomach hyla of the kidneys neck of the pancreas origin of the superior mesenteric artery superior mesenteric artery take origin at this level so we have the next plane number 2 is the subcostal plane subcostal plane if you will see this is the lowest margin of the costal cartilages okay so so a plane passing just below the costal margin if you will take a horizontal line this is your subcostal plane so anteriorly it is passing through the lower border of the 10th rib okay lower border of 10th rib lower border of 10th rib and posteriorly if you will see this one this is the l3 vertebra so posteriorly passing through the l3 vertebra so the next plane we have the this plane if you will see this plane this is the trans umbilical plane i will mark here trans umbilical plane so again this is a transverse plane okay what is the level it is passing through the intervertebral disc between the l3 and l4 in between this this is the level of the umbilicus between the l3 and l4 next plane we have the trans tubercular plane or also known as the intertubercular plane so we have to identify the tubercle of the iliac crest which lies 5 cm posterior to the anterior superior iliac spine so we will join these two iliac tubercle this is a horizontal line and posteriorly it is passing through the upper border of the l5 vertebra and lastly also you will study about the right and left right and left vertical plane and this plane will start from the mid point of the clavicle because upper side what we have clavicle bone so middle of the clavicle it will start and downwards it will go till the mid inguinal point so this mid inguinal point is between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic symphysis okay so if you mark a mid point so this is your this is your left and on the right side we have the 
right vertical plane so these are the left and right vertical plane and these are also known as the mid clavicular plane so this was about the abdominal plane see you in the next video